in preparation for starting to work on the truck again, I need something to lift the frame off of the floor while I'm working on the suspension. So I went ahead and bought four of the six ton jack stands. And to be honest, these things scare the piss out of me. There's no safety mechanism. You could easily kick one of these lever and the entire thing will slam down. The fact that these wobble and aren't like really locked down to the frame when something's on them scare me as well. So we're gonna do a couple things to modify these so they're a bit safer. I'm going to start by cutting off the tops of all the legs. I've never liked this design. I know why they're designed this way, but I've never agreed with the reason. Majority of the time, I end up putting a piece of wood on the top to distribute the load, which only marginally improves them. So off with the top. Next, I've welded some one inch studs for the modification. To improve the base, I'm first drilling an assortment of holes. One that is aligned to the tang you're supposed to press in, and then another set that goes through both sides. The single hole gets a nut tacked in while using a fastener to align everything, and then gets fully welded in place. For final assembly, I've cut the release arm so it's less likely to get kicked. The pair of holes is for a pin that locks the ratchet mechanism in place. A knob is installed into the welded nut to pinch the leg to the frame for rigidity. And the final addition is a four inch rubber padded foot that swivels. The rated load for these feet are six and a half tons per foot. So these jack stands are still capable of their six ton capacity. After using them a couple times, I found that they are much easier to place under the vehicles. The flat pad sits aligned with the frame and the added grip and noise reduction from the rubber makes everything feel more stable. I've added a piece of hose around the swivel section of the foot to help keep it level, but still flexible when setting them up. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody.